Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the St. John's County Show that's on in the morning. We've got a great question of the day today. Oh. I can't wait to get to it. <laughs> we've also got a, we've got a great rest of the show. It's not just the very beginning of the show. We've got a great rest of the show. A lot of really cool news, including uh, two uh, two local football players yeah. headed to the league. Two! Man. I thought it was yeah. one. Oh, both cool. Good, both good guys. Yeah. yeah. How cool is this? Yeah, this is very exciting. Two. Very, very exciting. Yeah. So we'll talk about that. The city wants input on the naming of a public park. How can we get your name into another park, Troy? <laughs> How can we do that? Can we get, make I'm that happen? I'm still here. Oh. <laughs> you're supposed to be dead when they named that. Yeah, but you get to enjoy it while you're alive if you get something named after. Who wants something named after when they're dead? It I mean, you don't, get to, really... you don't get to say, hey, that's me. That career's dead. Does that count? No. <laughs> <laughs> That part, of my, that part of my career is You're gone. still influential. Yeah, we know. Yes. <laughs> We've got the city buying uh, the last developable acreage of Fish Island in St. Augustine. Oh. To preserve it, apparently. Uh, nice. Good. Nice. Liz yeah. Smith will be very happy with that. <laughs> Love her. <laughs> and uh, we've got more. we got more. It's going to be a show today. And can't wait to get into it. Can't wait to get into it. It's good. You know, it's it's the day that starts the week. Mm -hmm. It's not always the best day to wake up and go to work. But I'm here with my three best friends. Isn't that great? So that's awesome. Yeah, it should be. We should be called like the Wolfpack or something. <laughs> he's trying to influence the question of the day. Do you see what he's doing here, yes, Troy? Yes. Yeah, he's trying to. No, I'm just being appreciative. Oh, very nice. I'm well, being, good. I already have my answer for question. Oh, of the you're day. really okay. I didn't yeah. know if that we, was changing. We knew it before. We of course you did. I didn't know if that was like a subconscious no. like campaign or something that no. you were like going to change your mind. Okay. <laughs> So we'll get into it as soon as I tell you about our friends at Bozard Ford Lincoln, celebrating 76 years in St. Augustine in Northeast Florida. They are here for you on the campus of Bozard Ford Lincoln at 16 and 95. You're going to experience a massive selection of new and pre-owned vehicles, quick and quality servicing, and an amazing parts and accessory shop, plus an unbelievable restaurant in Ford's Garage. You got to go there, hang out, have some drinks, have some burgers. It's always a great time. They offer services from home delivery to company fleet servicing and more. Out there at Bozard Ford Lincoln, your family really is their family, and they are driven to inspire. Also, of course, our friends at Fidus Roofing, Great Expectations Realty and Auction, Chiba Hut Toasted Sub, St. Augie's Pizza, BHF Insurance, Chris Lucero Bail Bonds, LA Smed Spot, Griffin Service, and BNS Signs, who we will praise shortly. <laughs> the first. Troy Davey. Blake, what's up, guys? Hey, happy Monday. First day of the week. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. Let's do it. How's it going, Blake? I, I'm doing a okay, Pete, but, but I need to ask you, though. So, 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 so apparently in the past, you, you, so you said Sunday was the first day in the week. Is it, is it Sunday or is it Monday? Well, technically, most calendars go by Sunday. Sunday. True. Week, yeah, right? yeah. But I just switched over my uh, phone calendar to have Monday as the first day of the week. Yeah, so Monday's the first. For you, it's Monday. Yeah. 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 It's a work day. It's the first work day because everyone yeah. says Sunday is the day of rest, which I find is hogwash. Yeah. But yeah, I know. Dog water. Yeah. <laughs> Why do I never get any rest on a Sunday? Yeah. No, no. That's a get, get your life together kind of day. Yeah. 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 <laughs> But great weekend though, right? Everybody right. went to oh, different a lot events. Of stuff going on this yeah. weekend. So. You went to Dave Burnett, right? Awesome. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. I went to Dave Burnett Day. You you did the potato. I did the potato ca cabbage potato bacon festival. Cool. And, and love your mother. Yeah, and, buddy. And uh, yep. the taste of St. Augustine. Nice. So I'm peopled out for three months. Yeah. yeah. I'm not leaving the house for the next three months. Did anybody randomly hug you? Yeah. A oh, lot. Man, I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 Question of the day, Troy. <laughs> All right, question of the day. Uh, if you're a mood ring, what color are you? Black. Uh, <laughs> oh, did I say that too loud and quickly? Black. That was like quick check of the weather. The universe was... <laughs> black, the deepest black you can possibly be, and it would never change. Oh. Yeah. I'm Just... going purple, very happy. 
Oh, is that a happy? Okay. Very happy. There you go. I don't even know what the colors of the moodering are. Yeah, I just well, assume black fits I, my mood. I pulled them up. It's like black is stressed and brown oh, is yeah. fear. Uh -huh. Yellow is nervous. Uh, green is mixed emotions. Oh. Uh, Why is none of this good? Purple, mm. purple is normal slash relaxed. Mm. Um, dark oh, yeah. blue is calm. Uh, burgundy is cool. Orange is lovable. Green is romance. The lighter green is romance. Mm. Um, and then a dark, dark blue is passion. Maybe that's Ooh. what I am. Dark, I dark, blue. dark blue. There you go. I think passion you're a dark, pants. I think you're a dark blue. Perfect. Right. We'll go with that. Staying with black. <laughs> what you got, Blake? Black. Black. Yeah. <laughs> Stressed. Yeah, 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 I feel you. <laughs> I feel you. What are you thinking, Troy? What are you? Uh, I, I, think, I think I'm usually a, a dark blue. I'm usually... Yeah. You know, pretty happy. Passionate. You know, passionate. Yeah. 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 So I'm, I'm usually pretty good. There. Great. Together we make Captain Brews. <laughs> <laughs> Captain. Like black Man. and blue. Black and blue. Yeah. All right. Good. Good question. Well, we'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we never really know. Yeah. Until we start getting into the comments. Right. right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Betty, I'm none of those. <laughs> She's a hybrid. <laughs> there you go. Mood rings used to be a big thing, man. I remember yeah. in like elementary school, elementary homeschool, when uh, kids in my school would, would be all talking about the mood rings. Mm -hmm. And they used to have the things you could press your you finger you on. Your brother? I, I look, man, for a little while. <laughs> oh, homeschool. Okay. For a little while, I went to a homeschool that was somebody teaching other uh, lots of other kids. Yeah, we learned from and Amanda. It, they do it. It's like a like right. a community. Yeah, they do a community thing. <laughs> You just go to a diff different person's house. You got to go to the chicken fat lady's house, and then you got to go to somebody else's house. Yeah, you take field trips to farms and <laughs> Treaty Park. Yeah. Yeah. All right, time for a quick check of the weather. So, Perfect. Yeah, quick check of the weather brought to you by Great Expectations Realty and Auction. They can sell your home, your business, and everything in it. Check out at geauction.com and gerealty.us. We go over to Blake Blevins in the booth for a traffic report. Blake. Eh, it's okay. Okay, hey, look at that. It's, it's a pretty moving. empty road. It's moving. Pretty empty road out there. Where is that, Blake? That is uh, I-95 at the State Road 16 overpass. Okay. There it's you go. definitely moving. Yeah, it's moving along. All right. Well, that's good. Nothing that's to Blake. complain about. Yeah, nice. Nothing to complain about, just like uh, Lace Med Spa. Mm. If you're complaining about your face, get yourself to a Lace Med Spa. Great they one. They will take care of it. They will make your face great. It's where science meets tranquility. Oh. Their world-class treatments will transport you to a state of pure bliss, and their radiant hydrofacials will unlock your natural glow. For the perfect harmony of wellness and beauty, choose a Lace Med Spa, and you can visit them at their website at lace.com or out there on the island at 2100 A1A South Suite 2. It's beauty on your terms. Book today. See how beautiful you can be. Speaking of beauty... <laughs> Love your mother. Yeah, man. Fashion show. The last one happened that was over the weekend. Awesome. Yeah. Davey was the host MC. So good. Great yeah, job, man. Davey. Thank you, you sir. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. yeah. A lot yeah. of fun. A lot of work went into it behind the scenes. It was a, uh, there was some, there was some dumpster fire moments that we were like, Oh my gosh, we got to put it out. But we held our, our candor. It was awesome. Community came out to rally and celebrate. Um, so congratulations to everybody. I have a big shout out to Candace who was like our stage. Can't call her stage mom. She's more of like a stage queen, mm. but like she was choreo. She made sure everybody was timed out right. And their walk. I mean, honestly, uh, her and Hugh in the backstage, amazing job. And it was it was really a team effort. Everybody was like a manager of their own department. And they came together and united. And, and we made some um, amazing fundage going to Matanzas Riverkeeper, which yeah. I think we quadrupled the the uh, the match ask that we did in the evening. And I was like trying to space it out. I thought it was, thought it was too low. I was like, oh, we were on, so guys. close uh, for a while. And then all of a sudden when we started, when you got on the microphone, mm -hmm. Things started flying in as always. So yeah, yeah. And you, and you, you caught got me. on the microphone. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he caught me at the bar. Yeah, I did. Oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> he knew right where to look for you. I did, and he was like, "Matthias Riverkeeper is very important for our waterways." And then all of a sudden, it was like, "Bling, bling, bling, bling," and then yeah. perfect. So it yeah, must have been one of the times I was hiding in my truck. <laughs> yeah. You know, there's a lot of people yeah. going on that. A lot so of people. I had to space yeah. Space myself out between the peopling. Yeah. So I turn around to Michelle and, and Davy are right there. I was like, "Oh, hey." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think anything of it. I, I didn't realize, and then all of a sudden, I look up on the screen there, and like 
were right there on the screen at the same time. I was like, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, hi. <laughs> I figured you could handle it. Don't put him on the spot or anything. <laughs> it was That's good great. stuff. A lot of fun. Great yeah. rally. It was a great, great show. No, yeah. it, was, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. It, was, it was a good night. A little bit of a drizzle. And Mother Nature. That's area. what I loved about it. Yeah. It was all the elements. <laughs> Everybody right. was kind of looking like, should we? Yeah. Right. Yeah. We stayed put. Yeah. Yeah. Some people left. What was funny is there was another wave of people that came for second half to obviously Juliana was the show stopping performance at the very end. And they had this young performer come out and sing um, uh, Bad Romance by Lady Gaga. And it was awesome. They just rocked the house. And it was a good celebration of the last 20 years. They had like an archive of all the different collections at the end. And then, obviously, St. Augustine Dance Company turned it up and turned it out at the end, and it was an, an amazing, amazing ending. So it was very, very cool. It was an awesome show, and shout out to PRI and all their teams because it rained that morning, and then our stage was super soaked and wet. Ooh. And Yeah, they had to do shop vacs, and there was, there was a, some major moments that came together, but it was magic nonetheless. That's great. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. And, Thanks, guys. Thanks for showing and, up. That was great. And, yeah. and uh, of course, your, your congratulations outfit, to I mean, all you guys. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Which one? Then had like three costume changes. <laughs> we knew it was going to happen. Track. We knew it was going to happen. That was not on the clearance rack, maybe, but that is going back to Los Angeles. <laughs> the, poison, the Poison Ivy one, I think, was my favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah so, that was great. That was uh, actually left over from Tula Rose. Uh, you know, my friend Tess is the event florist in town. Yeah. And she, you know, gets all these super cool, like, long boas of leaves and things. And I was like, boo, don't throw that out. I'm going to use that as a costume. She's like, great. Yeah. <laughs> That was perfect. Yeah, it was fun. It's a great time. The pizza there was really good, too. Oh, mm -hmm. Bronx House Pizza. I've never yeah. had it before. Okay. All of it was really good. The good food, stuff. the drinks, all of it was really, really good. All right. Let's see. Oh, okay. Speaking of the environment, this is a, this is a good one that people should like. City buying the last developable acreage of Fish Island uh, to preserve it. Good. Uh, the preservation of Fish Island, it's a cherished natural area here in our area has reached a significant milestone after years of community efforts to prevent development the last remaining portion of fish island has been safeguarded from commercialization the story dates back six years ago when locals rallied to save fish island from potential development although the state purchased most of the land to preserve it a 2.5 acre section remained at risk in this past week uh, owners made a pivotal decision to sell this last parcel of land to the city of St. Augustine, ensuring that the entire area south of the 312 bridge will remain untouched. That's pretty cool. That is cool. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of wildlife back there. There's a lot of, there's a little bit of a walking trail, so you can actually explore it a little bit back there. Mm -hmm. And there's a little parking used, area, too. Used to be that's mm -hmm. where you'd take your truck. <laughs> oh, is it really? Off-roading, and it was doing a lot of damage, and... And oh, people would get stuck back there, and so um, I actually worked for a developer that looked at it at one one point. But there's a bald eagle right in the middle of where the development would have been. Uh, it would have been wow. that's a thing, a right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It would have would have created a challenge. So. Uh, Paul Thompson, whose family has a deep connection to Fish Island, they say, expressed his joy at the preservation efforts. The sale of the 2.5 acres to the city will establish a passive park protecting both historic ruins and environmentally sensitive land. Uh, let's see. The city purchased the land for $500,000 and pledged an additional $100,000 for historic restoration or educational initiatives. Additionally, the resolution of a longstanding land dispute over uh, Kunti Island further solidifies the victory for conservation. Okay. Yeah. Cool. No, no, it's it's good that they they've done that. So it kind of yeah. does protect that and there's there is a lot of wildlife there and there's there's um the island deer are in that area and there's not a whole lot of area left for the island deer to be, so Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. I did try to go back there in a car once. I almost got stuck gets forever. A little, gets a little muddy. I literally almost got my car stuck forever. Yeah. Oh really? I, I, I pulled some people out of there when I when, <laughs> I, when I had my Bronco back in the day. Uh -huh. I just saw a trail and I didn't realize you could drive back there, and you really can't. No, no. Not. Well, you definitely can at high tide. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> because it gets really, really spongy at high tide. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> is it like, can you like dog walk back there too? Or is that like a, for public or is it just a private spot? For mm, conservation? Well, I think it'll be, I think it'll be where you can probably dog walk. I'm, okay. yeah. I'm not sure exactly what. Well, I'm glad I didn't is. just show up. Thanks for telling me that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's wait and find out and see, yeah. what, the, I don't want next, to. <laughs> see what the next plan is. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah, so that's good. That's ex- always exciting, man, uh, when we can preserve some land. You know, it's everybody's scooping up everything to build crappy houses on it. So right. That's good. That's nice. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Brittany jumped in a little bit on the comments about it being one of the first orange groves. But, uh, and really? people, people cool. think it's called Fish Island for for the actual fish. Right. The no. man's name was actually Jesse Fish. fish. Yeah. Oh, name, I didn't know that. Okay. Somewhat of a controversial figure. Yeah. Was he? In his yeah, he was. Existence. No, no bueno. Okay. Yeah. Apparently off yeah. camera. Got yeah. it. Not, not exactly uh, <laughs> a stellar. <laughs> Getting right. the Boy Scout patches. But luckily, okay. his that last name was Fish. So yeah, <laughs> it was fishy. Sounds like some piece of land that we should preserve. Yes. <laughs> you know, <laughs> makes it more, sound more environmentally friendly. So yeah. then, if he was so shady, why don't we rename it? Melfi Island or something. Yeah. Well, we can all just pretend like it just means fish. fish. Okay. Yeah. That's what yeah. we'll do. Yeah. All right. There's fish back there, I'm sure. Apparently, it's a good story. And the city of St. Augustine ain't naming nothing Melfi nothing. Oh, <laughs> we don't know that yet. <laughs> Let's name it and claim it. I promise you. They love you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sure, I'll have a park bench. <laughs> yeah. Well, at Fish Island? No, no, I'll have a park bench. Oh. Not at Fish Island. <laughs> okay. Somewhere in the county. Very obscure. Okay. You've already got a trail yeah. in a park, Troy. Calm down. <laughs> Leave some room for the rest of us. None of them are officially named. You guys have named them that. <laughs> of course. More people call them what we've named them yes. than call them their actual names. Yeah. Yeah. Ble- Blevins Bluff. Blevins Bluff and Troy's Happy Trail. <laughs> Troy's Happy Trail. <laughs> Yay! Because there's so much happiness around it. Everybody's it so happy about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if that's where the seven dwarves live. Or with seven miners, excuse me. The miners. Seven miners. Seven miners. Let's please not attach that to my name. Uh. <laughs> Troy and the seven miners. Yeah. No, coal that's miners. Right. Yeah, no, no, I get it. Am I sure no one, I'm sure no one will confuse that. In I'm sure, yeah, that's true. Good gracious. <laughs> oh, boy. <clears throat> All right. Um, from that, we will go to, we've got two, uh, two kids that signed to the end well, they're not kids, they're men these they're days. Men. I mean, they were kids when we were watching men, them play men, football men. down here at uh, yes. St. Augustine and Pedro. But, uh, this is great. This is very exciting. Austin Reed, local football standout at, uh, St. Augustine High School, went on to play for Western Kentucky, I believe. Mm-hmm. Uh, signs with the Chicago Bears. Wow. Congrats, Austin. Yeah. That's huge. Sebastian's mm-hmm. happy. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Sebastian, a big Chicago Bears fan. Yeah. Um, and then Kenny Logan. Kenny Logan Jr. Uh, he was a Kansas Jayhawk. Signed with the L.A. Rams. Mm-hmm. That's great, man. Yeah, those... Big legendary teams. Big time. Two kids from right in this area. i got to stop calling them kids. They're not kids. They're, Two guys they're, from right around this work, area. They man. worked hard. Congratulations, yes, guys. And, yeah. You know, I, I know both families, and, and congratulations too, yeah. to the family. Yeah. Um, That's got to be I know you guys night. are super proud of them. And, yeah. You yeah. know, they'll continue to work hard, and I expect good things. So. Yeah. Yeah, man. Very exciting. exciting for them. Yeah. So congratulations to our local guys, man. That's always That's always really, really cool to see. It's cool to see like the reactions too, like on socials, and you can see the you know the family like you just erupt with joy when they yeah. when their name gets called. Yeah, I love those moments. Yeah, it's pretty awesome, man. Love seeing it. Love seeing people from around here succeed. Uh, and both both of these guys signed as free agents. So they, what does yeah, that they, mean? They weren't they weren't part of the draft, but oh. they they signed after draft day. Uh-huh. And um, you know, but they're committed to those those teams. And you know, it's a little tough to make it uh, from there. But I mean, I know these guys have worked hard. And uh, Austin uh, transferred from West Florida, where he won a national title, and then went to Western Kentucky. And mm-hmm. Kenny, um, you know, he's. Uh, he, like I said, he's he's worked hard, and he, you know, him him and Blake were in elementary school together, and oh, know, cool, just, oh, yeah. that's cool, same class almost every year. So, well, that's <laughs> awesome, man. Very cool. And his brother, his brother's Brandon James, you know, who's, uh, you know, had had success at yeah. University of Florida, and, mm-hmm. and 
did play a, for the Colts a, for a little yep, while. Did a yeah, quick stop man. in the in the NFL himself. Yeah, man. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So congratulations, guys. Uh, we'll look forward to watching you on TV in the coming years. All right. Gas report time. Oh, great. Ooh, oh, perfect. Man. Thanks. Nice story. And <laughs> <laughs> then I got to bring the whole mood down. down. Black. If you're seeing good prices for gas, let us know in the comments, please. We all desperately need it these days. Uh, the Cinco at 1099 South Ponce, their cash price is 325. The Owens at 780 South Ponce is at 339 this morning. The cash price at the Sunoco at 2199 North Ponce is 341. The Shell at 146 King is at 342. The Sunoco at 450 South Ponce at 342 as well. Your Shell at 216 Ponce Leon Boulevard, 342. Same with uh, actually the Shell at 2350 North Ponce jumps it up to 349. The Gate on Mizell Road is at 359. Same with Ashland out there on the island, as well as the Mobile and Circle K at 800 South Ponce. Whew. Uh, from Tim, Wawa's at 359 and Costco's at 325. Mm. 325? Wow. That's worth that membership. That's I was good. I going to say the same thing. Yeah. Very impressed with the Costco pricing. Yeah, they're doing good. Yeah. Thanks, I guess guys. when they got all those memberships, they can offset that price a little bit. But wish they could. Other good. gas stations can see that and say, let me set that standard. Yeah, they won't. Mm-mm. Typical. That comes to us from Chris Lucero Bail Bonds. If you are in jail, if you are in jail. <laughs> Yeah. Just trying to think for a reason. And you are you're eligible to, to right. if you're, yeah, get if you're out. Considering yeah, you're considering a getaway to jail. You have a family member in jail? <laughs> right. Yeah. A family member, a loved one. Great friend. Yeah, a friend that you know just isn't built for jail. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can call Chris Lucero and get him out. 24-7, he's available for you. 904-822-BAIL. That's 904-822-2245. Got some live music happening today as well. Some live music. A very some. small amount of live music. Reggie Starrett at Trade Winds at 1 o'clock. Josh Hennessy Worthy at the Mill Top at 4.30. Mark Hart, Trade Winds at 5. Stu Weaver, Harry's at 6. And Joe Downing, Salt Life, 6 o'clock. Uh, thank you, Griffin Service, for bringing it that, us that live music. Mike check this morning and every morning. Your home's comfort is their top priority at Griffin. They specialize in AC, plumbing, and electrical services, plus unique offerings like standby generators, water softeners, and gas work. You'll experience fast, friendly, and affordable service seven days a week. That's why you see those yellow vans all over the road. They are headed to your friends' and neighbors' houses to help them stay comfortable. 904-500-2653 or visit griffinservice.com and see the Grifferents. Oh, what is this? Airline keeps mistaking 101-year-old woman for a baby. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what this means at all. This is the one story I have not read yet. Yeah, oh. it, well, it might be because it, it they probably only cycle back ninety nine years on birth dates. Oh, makes sense that now. Could be it. Makes you know sense I mean? now. Maybe that's Good it. job. They're only reading like the last two numbers of that, yeah. and it's like, oh, okay. okay. She's one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you can yeah. just skip that story now. <laughs> well, <laughs> Cleared that one up. I was gonna <laughs> offer. I was gonna offer an alternative and say maybe she, instead of uh, having a wheelchair, she rides around in a stroller. Oh, oh so, well, uh, and we have seen some crazy stuff. Yes. Okay, so mm-hmm. tell us in the comments if you think I'm closer to the right story or Troy's closer to the right what? story. I have a feeling how this is gonna go, but maybe I'll be shocked. <laughs> one for Pete, two for Troy. There go. you go. There you go. Uh, <laughs> we'll find out the answer whether either of us are right. Uh, after I tell you about Fidus Roofing, there we go. Fidus Roofing, your local go-to for well over 15 years here in St. Augustine. And guess what? Other peeps live right here in St. John's County. That's a big deal. They know what your Florida roof demands. They're also master elite contractors in St. John's County, which means they can offer you warranties that nobody else in the business can touch. They love our community and they love you and they're just good people. They want to do good by you and your family. Make sure you're safe in your home. 904-355-ROOF. They do pavers. And gutters. Yeah. Go ahead, Pete. (laughs) I feel like you need a fart after that one or something. (laughs) Who said I didn't? (laughs) It does sound like you're holding in. Yeah, it does. (laughs) Something. All right. Let's see how this happens. A curious case of age misidentification. 
Well, it sounds like something that's going to be a trend. Uh, uh, here we go. <laughs> God <laughs> sakes. Get ready to be outraged. Something new. <laughs> yeah. Said, Can't see me now. Yeah. Yes. And Maeve's not my granddaughter. Oh. For all the people Saturday night. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 A uh, 101-year-old woman. Her name's Patricia. Apparently, she doesn't have a last name, but her name is Patricia. Pat. Patricia. Patty. Patty. She finds herself repeatedly mistaken for an infant due to an error within the American Airlines booking system. Uh-oh. Born in 1922, Patty encounters a particular glitch uh, where the airline system registers her birth year as 2022. Mm. Pretty much yeah. nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> kind of, sort of. Yeah. I mean, didn't totally nail it, but kind of <laughs> nailed, nailed it. it. You're still on the board. I mean, it's saying it recognizes her birth year as 2022. That's not exactly the same That's exactly as what it I said. registering her year as one because of a 100-year rollover. Yeah. It's not exactly the same. I said it only went back 99 years, so it's probably reading her as one. Yeah. It's sort of pretty much the same. It's yeah. 98% the same. <laughs> So nobody gets the win. Uh, during a recent fight between... This is my show, no one gets the win. <laughs> Black on the yeah. new ring. Black on the ring. I'm not giving anybody grace. You're always finding uh, some way to get out of it. All right, go ahead. That's right. During a recent flight between Chicago and Marquette, Michigan, uh, Pol- uh, Patricia's daughter, Chris... Made the reservation online, inadvertently triggering the system's age miscalculation. It's not the first time they say that this occurrence uh, has happened, as a similar incident unfolded during a previous flight, leading to unexpected challenges upon arrival. Despite the humorous nature of the mix-up, Patty expresses her desire for a resolution. <laughs> she doesn't give a crap. I mean, Why is she for yeah. one? Yeah, she's she's she like, don't, I care. don't care. Yeah, the, the news is pretending like she yeah. cares. She don't care. Yeah. She if she cared, pay. she wouldn't fly that airline. Well, I'm sure it is somewhat of an inconvenience. She says it's a little bit of an inconvenience. She emphasizes the need for accurate records, <laughs> not only for her own convenience, but also for the sake of her daughter, Chris, who often aids during her travels. I mean, don't you get a cheaper ticket if you're one? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Right. Just, I mean, after 100, you should fly for free anyway. I mean, how many probably. people, how many people over 100 are flying? I'm exist, just trying, trying to think like everything an in- should be free after a hundred. I'm, I'm trying sorry. to think That's, like an insurance I, I agent. Be mad at that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, actually, you know, if you the made fact it that, that I'm long, closer to it, I mean, right? You, you got and you're still agile enough to be able to fly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Everybody, everybody over hundred should get stuff free. Sure. Oh, great! Well, they get on the they get on the Smucker's jar yeah. on that one show. Yeah, the morning show. Yeah, yeah. While American Airlines has yet to respond to inquiries regarding the issue, Patricia remains resolute. No, she doesn't. She doesn't even care. She doesn't. She, doesn't, doesn't she don't care. She don't give a f. Yeah. Remember that it happened yeah. at this point. Yeah. In her determination to continue flying. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Maybe she's a Jack Daniels lady. Maybe yeah. she's, maybe where's maybe. my Jack? And I've seen that they they live over a hundred. Yeah, there's something in that. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> she eagerly anticipates her next flight in the in autumn. Uh, see, she already forgot. She hopes that by then the airline's computer systems will have caught up oh, to her remarkable age of 102. I bet, yeah, I, I bet they, if they give it to her for free, she stops being so resolute. Oh. <laughs> right, yeah. 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 Uh, her daughter stops being resolute. Yeah. I think she might stop being alive by then, but let's, mm-hmm. see. let's hope not. Let's hope Patty's kicking it. Yeah, Rebecca says, where the hell? Longer. They're going to Vegas. <laughs> She's going to Vegas, yeah. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, some unfortunate news. This is a sad story to have to report. Jacksonville teen uh, has died in a St. John's County crash after walking from their vehicle on I-95. This We hear about this too much. Man. Oh, no. So, uh, so dangerous to do. Tragic incident occurred on I-95, resulting in the death of an 18-year-old. Uh, according to the Florida Highway Patrol, the sequence of events began when the individual's truck uh, ran off the roadway near mile marker 316, uh, then crossed all southbound lanes before uh, colliding with a center guardrail. Following the initial incident, uh, the individual exited their vehicle and walked into the southbound travel lanes of traffic. Oh, gosh. Tragically, uh, they were struck by a tractor trailer while crossing mm. the highway from east to west. Mm. Wow. 
<sighs> Despite efforts by emergency responders, uh, the individual was pronounced deceased at the scene. Oh, that's sad, man. That's horrible. That's sad, and that's tough. And after what sounds like, you know, uh, it sounds like this individual had a crash and then was trying to make it back to the other side of the road. Um, so I don't know if maybe they were a little dazed after the That's what I'm saying. After the Probably crash. everything that's going on, not really, you know, fully aware of what's happening. Right, they might right. have just stepped right out. I mean, I, I just... Foggy, and uh, I feel so terrible for that family. I mean, it's... Yeah, just a kid, man. Yeah, very sad. Our hearts definitely go out to um, this person's family here this morning. I'm sure it's been a absolutely unbearable weekend. Um, let's see. We got one more. We got at least one more here uh, to do. I mean, if I could find it, that would be beautiful. A city solicits input for naming of Troy's next park. <laughs> Oh. City of St. Augustine is seeking input for the naming of a green space situated at the intersection of Whedon and Dehaven Streets, commonly known as Whedon Park. So why don't we just name it Whedon Park? Mm-hmm. <laughs> commonly if known. That's what people it's a common, know it as. We're not mm-hmm. common people, yeah. yeah. Well, recognizing the significance of pocket parks in the community redevelopment, this is what we call parks that aren't really parks, mm. uh, the Neighborhood Services and CRA Manager emphasizes the importance of involving residents in naming the park, allowing them to honor individuals who have positively impacted their community. Name them. <clears throat> there you go. Public <laughs> suggestions for the park's name will be accepted for two weeks, closing at Friday at 5 p.m. on May 10th. A committee comprising representatives from the Planning and Building, Public Works, and Communications Departments will review submissions and present a recommendation to the city manager. The city manager will then propose the selected name to the city commission for consideration and adoption during the regular commission meeting Monday, June 10th. Resolution outlines several criteria for suggestions. Uh, Number one, it cannot be Troy Blevins. (laughs) That's number one? It's it's in there. It's right there. It says can't be another part. He's already in English. That's in English, not Braille. It's there. Okay. Wow. Real rude. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, Neighborhood or geographical identification, historical or cultural significance, and the recognition of individuals who have contributed significantly to public service. That's Troy. I mean, yeah, no chili for them. (laughs) (laughs) Suggestions can be submitted via an online survey or a paper version available at the Neighborhood Services and CRA office. The online survey, which incorporates input from uh, previous public workshops, uh, allows participants to offer additional suggestions. The survey link is provided on the city's website. Alternatively, submissions can be made in person or mailed to the Neighborhood Services and CRA Division. You can go to citystaynog.com slash civicalerts.aspx, question mark, capital A, capital I, capital D, equals 482. 482. <clears throat> Got it. So how do they do this? They are people just nominate and then they have a, like a vetting co- committee. How, I mean, how, yeah, pretty much. People okay. just send in suggestions. The city, and yeah, the city kind of it down. different than the way we did. I mean, uh, there was we had uh, the parks. Uh, we had a, a committee uh-huh. that would that would do it, and park advisory, uh, recreation advisory board, that would help, and then we would present like the top three, and then we voted on, and then it would go to the county commission at that point. Mm. So. Um, Individual fields and segments of the park can be in the county can be named by uh, the parks and recreation mm-hmm. them directly. So um, no, it, it, is it a long list usually, or is it just pretty short? No, it usually fits into you know who who was a part of that park and how how it influenced uh, the neighborhood. Okay. So I mean, like Treaty Park, Treaty Park bounced around a little bit, but it it always kept coming back to Treaty Park. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Troy Park failed on that one. And treaty sounds like <laughs> it's I, a treat. I got a TR and a Y out of it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There you go. I'd, I'd like to buy a vowel. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. Uh. Okay. So there you go. Send in your suggestions. We recommend you send in the suggestion of Blevins Park 3. Yeah. <laughs> Park 3. I, I, I. Park. Right. 
Right. <laughs> like Terminator just, 3. Just submit Troy's name. Let's just troll the city. And All in favor. Troy's name. Every if single they just get hundreds up. of submissions <laughs> for, for it to be no. named after Troy, what are they going to do? Yeah. Oh, goodness. They're going to ignore it. I know exactly. Just like they do I'm when most alive. of the city speaks anyway. Ha, <laughs> ha, <laughs> 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 All right. Try the county does have a rule. You have to be dead. dead. Oh, is that oh, a really okay. a rule? Yeah, Deceased? Is that in there? <laughs> Let's fake your death. We, Just we, don't show up to the show for two days, and then after they name it at you, you can be like, surprise, I'm back. <laughs> we we named up. a park one time, and then we had to change the name of the park because some... Uh, Sketchy stuff came out about the person it was named after. So, so you don't put a PR team behind the name where we would do an investigation yeah. behind the scenes to find out what's going on. We didn't check socials. What are we doing? We need to really dive yeah. into yeah. these names. No, no. And, well, and that's that's <laughs> we have better. Uh, I would resources. hire Blake Blevins to, to do, do that. Yeah, period. Yeah, yeah, yes, research. that man yeah. will find the imbrew yeah. of any dub yeah. name. And Luckily, and, Troy is a saint. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Saint Troy. That's why we saint call Troy. it Saint Augustine. Otherwise, right. it'd just be Augustine. Saint yeah. Samuel, actually. Yeah, yeah. Be, yeah, it's a, yeah it's totally uh, correct. <laughs> Troy said, "Name name it after his middle name." Troy is my middle name. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca's like that is his middle name. Troy Terrace. Yes. Troy, Beautiful. Yeah. So. Troy Terrace Ops. No. <laughs> yeah. Troy's terrain. Oh, so. that sounds rustic. And, it, and the thing, <laughs> here's how old I am: is a lot of the parks that are named right now, I'm I'm fr I was friends with them when they were alive. <laughs> So you're visiting your friends when you go yeah, to these yeah. parks. Yeah. Like I, I love, I love Red Cox. Namely, Jesus I mean, Park. Yeah. <laughs> Eddie Vickers, Ma Red Cox. Nombre de Mission, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, like I mission. remember. Yeah. The nombre de Dios. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Troy was there at the day. He was that. there yeah. with the cross was built. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Troy was there for all. So. Yeah. <sighs> no, it's it's it's. So are you friends with Mr. Davenport then? Davenport uh, Park? That, that one was a little bit before me. Oh, was that before like you? Red, okay. Red Cox and, yeah. and Eddie Vickers and uh, you know, yeah. there's, there's some ball fields that are named after people that, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know that, are, that were friends of mine. You know, all beautiful people. So yeah. Don't don't they wouldn't mind if if we made jokes. Okay. They all had a sense of humor. Good. Because we're people, gonna make jokes people, anyway. People are like, oh yeah, yeah. no, no. Every all of these guys had a sense of humor. Yeah. It's okay. Calm down, everybody. Yeah. Jokes. Yeah. Uh, 2024, jokes are making a comeback. That's always good. That's good. It's very good. As we learned at the Tom Segura show, some words no longer off limits. Mm -mm. Some words, no. No. Not some anyone. still are. Some still are. Yeah. There's a few. Uh, Troy, how do you want to check the comments? I'm going to march through the multitude of magnanimous comments. Wow, magnanimous. Yes. Beautiful. He wrote more, but it was too much. <laughs> yeah. Not unusual. Uh, after, uh, while you do that, I'll tell people that uh, Bates, Hewitt & Floyd is not your average insurance agency. They provide peace of mind and insurance to protect your biggest investments. Their approach to insurance and risk, longevity in our community, and the way they treat their clients sets them apart from all the rest. They offer homeowners, auto, commercial, and benefits. They've been doing that for over 50 years, confirmed. Christy Lawrenson is St. Augustine's premier agent offering complimentary policy reviews with a deep understanding of insurance and what is needed in St. Augustine to be properly insured. Huge attention to detail there. Seriously. Yeah. Give them a call, 904-794-5455, and schedule your appointment today. Also, our friends at BNS Signs, if you own a business, a good sign, a great sign is vital. It is necessary. And BNS Signs can help you put one up very, very easily. Locally owned, full service sign company now in their third generation of family ownership. Since 1967, they've been providing businesses and organizations in St. Augustine and St. John's County and surrounding areas with high quality signage. They can do that for you. Stop looking like a schmuck out there. Really? Yeah. Get your sign in shape. Get Welcome your customers. Welcome them to your right. business. De-schmuck your business. De-schmuck yeah. your business with BNS signs. I'm trying to think of how BNS could stand for something and not schmuck. <laughs> be sparkly. Be... BNS signs. Be the sun. Okay. There it is. They rise in all its glory. We'll do better tomorrow, BNS. Yeah, yeah we'll try. All right, Troy, what you got? All right, we got a lot of fun stuff in the, um, 
in the comments there. Keely is actually wearing a mood ring necklace, which today it is blue. What color is oh, it, Keely? It is blue. Oh, it was blue, blue today. Blue. Oh, blue nice. Today. All right. Uh, we got stars from Nicole, Ann, and Kay. Thank you uh, very much. People would like a better look at Davy's nails. Oh, so we Davey, didn't notice that. Oh, Davey's yeah. yeah. These are, oh, are, they are those? awesome. Are those like black gold? It's, I have to get them professionally removed, so they'll be on for a oh, bit. Uh, okay. But they are absolutely, they're metallic, like a metallic-y gold. Well, under these lights are gold, but outside they're purple. But yeah, oh, wow. they change color constantly. Actually, they're kind of mood. They're mood oh, right. oh my they're gosh, that's so right. funny. Yeah. He has mood nails. Yeah, mood nails. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, people were asking for an update on the carousel story. Oh, Jesus, hell. There it is. Get out of here. Okay. Well, there's Thursday, a... Thursday, they're going to sit down and talk about it. <laughs> Are you going in protest? This is your chance. I am going to go in protest. I'm just reading the comments. There's no reason to be angry. Gosh. Is it? Is the, it's, the meeting is not at Davenport Park, though, right? I'm just clearing that up in comments, too. No. no. Right, okay. No, that's where the... Continuously losing money carousel will be installed. The continuously bad investment of a carousel will be installed. Nobody's going to go to it. <laughs> Nobody's going to go. In the beginning, they will. Yeah, the first three days, okay. people will go. If you build it, they will come. First, no, that's not true. It's not the field of dreams. It's the field of sorrow and depression and nightmares. Nightmarish vehicles to ride on. I, I've already purchased a brick for the fundraising with. Oh, they're name. doing that brick campaign with your with your name on it, Pete. That's a great idea. We should do that. That'll be that'll make you feel special. Yeah. That will make you feel special. Congrats. I think you're the first one. Are they doing bricks? They're doing I bricks. Don't know. I just made money. I just made that up. Just yeah, to they can do a brick campaign. A though. That's a great fundraiser yeah. for that area. Well, they'd have to pave over the entire park in bricks, and it would be it would be awful. Well, awful. the maintenance fees that are be tagged onto those tickets. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm uh, just going to complain about it because the city hates me so much. They do not that hate they'll you. They'll just do what the opposite of what I want done is for at this point. Yeah, how beautiful. So maybe I actually want the carousel. How beautiful was our row at uh, Love Your Mother? Our row was filled with <laughs> fantastic people. We were front row at Love Your Mother. It was us. It was the 904 team. It was the sheriff and his lovely wife, Kendall. Then it was... <clears throat> I walked out on stage and I saw. I saw. I went, like, oh, oh, God. We were in the same room as the mayor. I'm sure she requested that. Yeah. <laughs> she was sitting forward in the chair. So I could see. I was like, oh, this is yeah. an interesting row. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, felt, I felt like it was a beautiful thing. Yeah. That was. All right. Yeah. Um, oh, con oh, congrats yeah. to Spencer. He won a, uh, a People's Choice. That's right. Taste. Get out. I he voted won. For I voted for him at, at the, the taste. taste best. Uh, dish I had out there was a yeah, Spencer buddy, dish. awesome. And, and I think I think Mian's won like the grand prize. Mian's so, was yeah. So Mian's has got our, great one food. Of our, one of our participants with the bollocks. So uh, so our good. Pe our people were everywhere t this weekend. Yeah, so. yeah. Wow, Rebecca didn't say nothing to the mayor. That's great. Great job, Rebecca. Yeah, she did hold back. <laughs> yeah, I, I, Her and I both I, held I, back. And I, I asked I asked you guys to. To behave. And oh, you did you? Be okay, okay, good. Well, I'm sure there was like a... Ask me to behave. I didn't ask if you would have asked me to behave, I, know I, I would have went not the other behave. direction. Yeah, I would have went the other direction. I would have done it just out of spite. <laughs> right, yeah. I would have got up on stage and made an announcement. <laughs> About the carousel, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Celery. Um, all right. <laughs> Made a lot of people happy. You all talked right, about it. it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a lot yeah, of people happy it. in comments. We got to talk yeah. about it. That's all. Okay. <laughs> Carousel. Yeah, and Rebecca says, you know, you know, I didn't ask her to behave either. Yeah, you, you can't. Guys, you guys are your own individuals. Right. I would not, would yeah. not do that. Uh, uh, where are we in the uh, show Storm now? Uh, it's time for Storm Stat. Okay, go for Storm Stat. <laughs> <laughs> Storm Stat. 1992. Um, this is the the day the L.A. riots took place, and I don't know, you guys were very young at this time. Uh, Blake was not in existence, uh, but this is when uh, the courts came back and acquitted uh, the police officers on the first counts of the Rodney King, uh, the Rodney King verdict, mm -hmm. very famous uh, case, uh, and unfortunately. Uh, the people of L.A. Uh, destroyed their own town. 
which I never really understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it, it resulted in 60 deaths. Wow. And 2,000 injuries <clears throat> and over a billion dollars worth of damage with fires and businesses. Um, you know, the L.A. Police Department was slow to react even to this mm -hmm. um, because they thought they would escalate it. It escalated all on its own. There's a very famous beating of uh, from a helicopter of a uh, of a truck driver who was just trying to do his job mm -hmm. was yanked out and beaten. Um, you know, just very sad. Uh, shop owners had to like stand in front of their businesses with rifles mm -hmm. to defend against the people that were their own customers. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. I mean, it was just a horrible, horrible scene, yeah. but it, it lasted almost three days and it took the federal government to come in uh, and and get this settled down. Um, two of the four that were acquitted on this day ended up spending about uh, three years in jail because there was another uh, another trial mm. um, and, and and they ended up. Uh, spending about two and a half years in prison. So wow. Rodney King died in 2012 of an accidental drowning. Ooh. So <clears throat> right? kind of a very weird, uh, weird she... end to the story. Yeah, yeah. interesting. I, that's the first time I ever saw, like, humans actually destroy something. And when I was so young, 92, I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. I never, I, there was, I was in awe watching that on the news as a kid. I remember this. Very yeah. like people just looting things. I was seeing people running out of shops. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, and Rodney came on and he was like, "Can't we all just get along?" I remember that. Um, a lot of comedians famous, jumped on that too. Yeah, um, you know, uh, just a, a very very dark time in our country of you know, people just had a reason to behave bad, so they did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, well, give yourself a reason to behave good and go to St. Augie's Pizza. Right. Right there and there in between Riberia and ML King, and they will be back open tomorrow. Plugs, Troy. All right. Start your week off right. Be happy. Okay. David? We've got an upcoming uh, concert series with St. Augustine Orchestra. May the 4th be with you. They've got a very, very cool thing they're doing uh, uh, for scholarships for Flagler College students. Oh, okay. Very good. Blake? Shout out to uh, Fogler Women's Across Team, a back-to-back -back Gulf South Conference tournament champions. Oh, there you go. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. Nice. Won the tournament this weekend. Awesome. Congratulations. And, yeah. Come check us out at 3. We'll see you there. Bye-bye.